Well, welcome to day two of training here in Belgium for the World Feeder Fishing Championships 2022. It's the end of the day. We've just had a, um, a very interesting session. There's actually been three teams here, which, um, which are very good teams, teams that lots of spectators have been watching. We have been here on this bend here. They're just packing up now, the lads. They have stopped on a little bit afterwards. We just have a bit, had a bit of a meeting just to discuss what's happened today. We've had a look at the fish that's been caught. We've had a look at what those fish actually weigh because with all that information, you know, usually that can give you some sort of an idea that you put together and, and just try and formulate some sort of a plan should one of our anglers draw this particular section in the World Championships this weekend. However, I'm going to walk you around the corner in a minute just to show you where the lads have been pegged. There is the dredger, Pluto. Is it called Pluto? I think it's called Pluto. There is a name on it. Yeah, Pluto. That means that there's been a little bit of a gap here. On this end peg here has been Adam Wakelin. Then there's been a gap here. And then, not much of a gap to be fair, then in this box just here, they're all at the top of the bank now, that is Germany. But they've had three angles in this gap here and this gap the, the three pegs here aren't i don't think they're actually going to be pegged in the competition so there hasn't been much of a gap to be fair so we've had germany that have practiced there and then just around that corner the very very next box has been hungary so those are three teams that lots and lots of spectators and other nations like to watch on these events they're very very strong teams as you can imagine so this has kind of been a little bit of a hot spot today so whilst the England lads have been doing what they've been doing, Dean Ball's based himself there, the lads have been going through what they've been going through. I've been based here. I've been watching the Germans all day, right the way from quarter to 10 this morning, right until the final whistle at three o'clock. And I've actually been based in the middle where I could also watch the Hungarians as well. And it's been very, very interesting to see what's happening or what's been happening. This area here is, is reported to be a good area. You know, we have seen Bream Court here over the last few weeks. There was a huge weight off this peg behind me, or the peg just about there. That is where uh, Frank had 40 kilos, I think it was, of bream, casting, I'm gonna, not gonna say casting towards the dredger because that's just the direction you cast. It was a long way off the dredger, but that is why this area is known for bream. However, whilst there have been some bream caught, there haven't been loads of bream caught, you know, but it did highlight that this is a bream area. There have been all sorts of fish caught today. There's been lots of roach, lots of asp, and a lot of perch as well. And obviously, you know, as with as we talked about already in this series of videos this week, quite often on these sorts of places, you know, it can be the depth that determines what species you might catch. If you haven't got much depth, you might only catch a certain species, and if it's really deep, there might be more species in the deeper water. Things like that are always changing, and that's one of the things that we need to work out. But before these lads pack away. Let me just take you up the bank to show you where we've fished today. So the Germans have been there. This has been just a little bit of a gap, only literally in between these ropes here. There's Pluto. And then going around here, we have actually got the permanent match numbers on here to give you an idea of where we are. So the first peg there has been Adam Wakelin. That is going to be peg C16. So this is C section, as you can imagine, peg 16. There's Mr. Ringer. He's going on C15. It's virtually coming around onto this point here and then we get to C14 that is Lee Kerry he's still fishing on at the moment and then moving further around here just, and we've got more of a wind hitting it here as you can probably tell where the Germans have been and the Hungarians you see the wind off the back it's been like that all day however the wind is coming around this corner as you can see there's much more of a chop on it now that hasn't been there all day but it certainly looks more inviting when you've got that wind on it so there's Lee next angler along here on C13 it's currently got Dean Barlow behind him that's Rob Wotton and the next one up is Mick Viles he's just preparing his rods for tomorrow on C12 and then the final peg here that is actually Graham West who's fishing <laughs> but that's not who's been fishing there it's Will who's been fishing there Will hasn't changed the way he looks from behind that is Graham he's having a little play are you catching out Graham? Three roach. See, he's showing everybody how easy it is. <laughs> you might get picked at this, right? And there's Will Freeman, that's who's been fishing here. And this is going to be obviously box 13 is the box that we've fished in. And this is C11. Richie, Rich Wilson, can today have you had, mate? They have had. I've watched, I've caught some, I've seen some fish being caught. Oh, wow, wow. Watched Amazing. The Belgians. Okay. They've fished in the same box as the 
Hungarians didn't catch anything in yesterday. Right. The Hungarians cool. fished it in a absolutely flat calm. Right. Yesterday. Yeah. Which is it's just off the edge of that boat. I'll wear that boat's moving now. I don't know if you can see okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Bank. Bang in line with that boat. Flat that calm boat. yesterday. Yeah. Nothing. One kilo were good. Yeah. It's blown over there today. Wind looked fishy. They were a little, looked like a bit of colour. The barge has been running. The dredge. The dredge, yeah. That, that one there. Everywhere. There's another dredger over there. And that's been, the bucket's been going down and that's been putting colour in and they've caught some roach that were worth catching three, four, five hundred grams a piece. Right. And that's all they've caught. No little fish, just better fish. But everybody's only caught better fish. No ass, no perch, no nothing, just right. quality roach. Unbelievable. But not anyway. many of them. 15 fish, three yeah. and a half kilo. So a bit like of wind that. and colours made a difference yeah, wind, eh, from yesterday. The South Africans have caught them at side. The Polish had an hour where everyone caught one a chuck and put a weight together so it weren't something I don't think the Belgians were necessarily doing. Yeah. We're doing it right from start, but the other ad lads have caught, when they have caught fish, it's been really worth catching. Nice one, thanks mate. Yeah, Cheers, two halves, I think, this sort of place. It's going to be an interesting venue, innit? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, Rich. So there you go, I mean, that's really Rich just summing up, saying what it's like, you know, there are so many different fluctuations in depth, every couple of pegs it's completely different. And so, you know, we strongly believe that this is going to be, it's going to be a venue where Going into the championship weekend this Saturday and Sunday, it, you're not gonna or you're not gonna have a plan that fits every peg, you know, because every peg's different. You're almost gonna have to know what kind of area you're in, and then see where you draw, assess the peg, and then formulate a, pa a plan for that peg and the conditions. But we're only in day two of training, so we are two full days now. We've now got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to continue training or practicing as some of you prefer me to say and um, so we've still got obviously the majority of the week to go so we're just going to build on what we've got we're on a completely different box tomorrow we're going to be right over there uh, in the early numbers tomorrow completely different area a better area we hope where we're hoping there are going to be more fish to have a go at you know so that's going to give us a chance to see what it's like if we are on a few feeding fish because it has been hard here yesterday was difficult whilst we had two big weights a 15 kilo and a 13 kilo after that the weights really dropped and so obviously it's a team competition it's all right preparing to be on the good pegs but inevitably we are going to have anglers that are going to be in harder areas and and they're the areas where we need to be able to find a few fish to obviously try and help those anglers get some points so that we hopefully try and avoid a blowout so this has just been another daily update for you hope you've been enjoying these these uh, these vlogs if you um, if you've enjoyed them please give this one a thumbs up that'll tell us to keep on producing them for you and if you do stick around and hit subscribe i look forward to updating you tomorrow from a completely different box right the way over there on the other bank tomorrow right here on this channel so thanks for all the great messages and i'll check in with you tomorrow